I was at a market not too long ago, well, actually probably about a month and a half ago. This guy was selling a whole bunch of just random crap, and he had two boxes. I seen this box, I pointed at it and said, how much? He said 40, I said 30, he said 35, we shook hands at 35. So I pay $35 for this thing. Why did I get it? Because I thought it would make an interesting video, and the fact that it just... <laughs> It looks stupid. I mean, it's just stupid. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the new Mind F16 unit. Now, the box is a little bit beaten up, but it's not that bad. Here we are. There's some sort of a Ferrari on it. Probably a Ferrari F16. I don't know about Ferraris. I only know about Mitsubishis and stuff. So this is by New Mind. It is Android. Cool. The IMEI number is registered by BABT. I don't know who BABT is, but uh, thank you, BABT. Uh, new mind on the side. There. Oh, now you can see what we've got. So QQ, Wi Fi, MP3, MP4, LG, 200 OGS, official gangster symbol. Mm. iPhone, micro 5 pin, yep, radio. Now you can start to see what the phone is looking like. Superb. New mind on there. And there's the IMEI bullshit. Who cares? And on the back is all the different colours it comes in. It comes in black, it comes in white, it comes in... Oh, the camera. <laughs> I was going to say, it comes in yellow and yellow, but no. Green, yellow, red. Um, there they all are on the back, and they're not even ticked. So we have two speech bubbles. Wi-Fi, do with a paw print, uh, some swirly Google Chrome looking thing, music, video, Internet Explorer, fair enough, and a camera. So let's have a look at the real thing. Now I have tested this to make sure it does work, it does work, but I haven't actually looked at the specifications or what's actually running underneath the uh, <clears throat> hood. Oh, I had to make that pun. Oh, God. Looking good. So, in the box, we have... I don't think there was actually much in here, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, battery. We will definitely need that. Doesn't look like. Use the authorised charger only. Never disassemble by yourself. Never short circuit the battery. Dispose of the battery properly. Expose a battery to open flames. Could cause explosion. That's great to know. And inside here we just have a micro USB cable and we have an AC charger and it actually is for my country. Thank you very much. Box aside, phone here. Out you come. Now does this look like a phone or what? When I seen it and I took it out of the package and I just went Okay, then when I sort of looked into it, I was like, why does this even exist? Why, okay, plasticky construction? Well, I, I think it's plastic. No, that's metal. Holy moly, that's metal. That's probably the only metallic part of it. Anyways, uh, you have two SIM card slots, micro and a full-size one, and something for your SD card, model F16, yada yada yada, camera on the back, uh, I believe it's only one speaker here, this one is just decoration I suppose, so I will stick some SIM cards in it, close it up and then I'll show you the rest of it, okay with some super awesome SD card and SIM card in there, I will go ahead and put the battery in place, so oh, that's metal, because you know it's a it's a car. Just by the way, we have um, these cool looking uh, silver wheels and grill. I mean, it looks okay like that, but yeah, and we've got some tail lights and everything. And it's also called Bosher. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Let's open this thing up. Yes, I'm opening this thing up. <laughs> Here we have the new mind. F16. It has a racetrack 
imprinted on here. I don't know what kind of track that is, and it is very reflective, so I apologize for any lights or anything. Isn't that just the most bizarre thing you've ever seen? And the speaker grill is actually up here, so you would have to use this, you know, you can't talk like that on it, you have to open it like that. So, can you sort of understand the whole joke of what's under the hood? Do you get it now? Thanks. There is no headphone jack on here. Uh, you could probably use an, an adapter to get that to headphone, but I don't think you're going to be wanting to use this as your personal phone. I think you're going to be wanting to use it as more of a, hey, I've got a fucking car in my pocket. Oh god, it's ugly. Let's switch it on and have a look at the Android features and stuff. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to leave that like that. Can't do much else about it. Right, so we have four physical buttons here. Yes, the Ferrari logo is a button. And this is to turn it on. Yay. That music was pulled from circa 2002. And it's stuck on the logo. I really hope this hasn't died. Holy crap, it booted. <laughs> I actually didn't think it was going to boot. So there are two buttons here. I don't know what they do. Likely they are volume. We will check that in a second. I just want to show you something really quickly. That's probably the best feature of this phone. Please prepare yourselves for the best feature of the new Mind F16. Oh man, so if you now press the Ferrari logo, you can see that it peeks through. You can see the time. It's like, oh, that's so cool. And then, uh, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> oh man, that's great. That is fucking fantastic. Okay, so let's have a look and see what this thing does. Install blocked. Okay, so straight away we've got some more crap that's opening up. And I've also got the screen protector on this still. Let's see what these buttons do. They are volume buttons. What do we have here? Basic applications. Did it have an app store? It did have an app store. That's not an app store. <laughs> uh, well, it's kind of an app store anyways. I don't think it's actually got the right one on there. Baidu, I've heard of that, but I don't know what it is. There's two browsers as well, so let's have a look. Right, that's that one. And then there was that one. Right, so that's the usual browser that was included in early Android versions. Uh, I'll just have a quick squiz through the other applications as well, because it looks like a Siri logo here. Uh, yes. Okay, um, yep, yep, gotcha, uh-huh, right, okay, um, hello, hello, okay, oh, let's try this game quickly. Ah, uh, Bumblebee. Yep, that one. Nope, maybe this one. Okay, maybe it's this one. Maybe it's this one. Yep. Uh, yep. Yep. Can someone help me translate? Oh, yes. This is going to be fun. A car game on a car phone. Cool. Uh, yep. Sure. Three, two, one, go! Yeah. 
that was an experience. I don't know what game that was, but if anyone's kind enough to tell me in the comments what game that was, I don't even know. It looks like some sort of asphalt clone. F16, F16 Public, V12, okay. System memory, 214 meg, guarantee that's good. Android 4.0.3, hardware version, yada, yada, yada. Now this is only GSM, I believe there is no 3G support, which is a bit of a downfall. There's something called a timer switch machine, which I have no idea. It sounds like it would send you back in time. Uh, reset, language and input, yada, yada, yada. LED settings, ooh. Calling music, hail, switch. So yeah, basic features on the phone, nothing special. It's just the whole, it looks like a car, and I don't know why you would want to have this. I mean, it's, it's, it, it's aimed obviously at 10 year olds or something who like Ferraris, I don't know. I'm gonna call this phone, I'm gonna see what it does, if it flashes and does all this sort of stuff, so give me a second, I'm gonna call it. So that's what happens, it lights up and makes that horrible sound, it sounded like more of a motorbike. And the speaker is absolutely horrendous, but you already gathered that. I'm going to install CPU-Z, and we're going to see what's kicking around in this thing. Let's have a look. Come on, show me something good. Anyways, it's a dual core, Cortex-A5 1GHz, dual core, which is, yeah, it's reasonable, device. 4.14 inches, 480 by 360. That's 480 by 360. That looks super clear for that. And 214 meg of RAM. Well, let's just say this won't be uh, speeding through any red lights. <clears throat> God, I'm horrible. Uh, Android 4.03. We obviously figured that. Battery 63%. Uh, sensors, not many sensors, and that's pretty much it. There is one thing I haven't tried, which is the lovely camera that is included. Where is it? There it is. That was a nice little screenshot. Anyways, I'm going to test the uh, camera and see how this goes. Uh, picture size: two megapixels. Freeze display. Anti-banding. Well, okay, fair enough. Presumably, this records in 720p. I very much doubt it, though. So it appears that there's no autofocus on the camera whatsoever, and it looks pretty terrible. If it can capture 720p, it probably look better in the daylight, but because I'm sort of in the dark, it kind of isn't really good. Conclusion? It's a novelty. That's all it is. It is literally just a novelty, and as I said, for what I paid for it, I can't really complain that much. It's just... It's a car phone. Is just, it's silly. I bought a $35 device just to go. At least I can say I own a Ferrari. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. It's uh, also an Octal phone. I don't even know what brand it is now. Anyways, thank you for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to buy one, you can find plenty of them on DHgate, eBay, AliExpress, and wherever. And they're about... $40 US or something like that. Uh, I don't know why you would buy one, except if you just want your kids to play around with it and go, hey, look. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't know what else you can do with this. It's just, yeah, it's just a novelty. I just think it's great that it does this. That's just, that's just fantastic. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Comment below if you would like to see more content like this. We'll see you in the next one.